chicken switch. Now for breakfast, what I like to have usually is some spinach, probably about 100 grams, two whole eggs, and then a burger. So let's do the math. Spinach is about 30 calories. Two eggs, that's 70 plus 70, that's 140 calories. And then the burger is 200 calories. So that is only about 370 calories in total. Now, if we go to the protein to calorie ratio for spinach, I believe it's only one gram of protein, but every gram of protein counts. And then for the eggs, it would be seven grams each. There's two eggs would be 14. And for the burger, it would be 20 grams of protein. That was, so this whole meal would be 35 grams of protein. Plus the coffee protein mix. Now, if you guys don't know about the coffee protein mix, uh, it's literally the best thing you could do if you want energy and size in the morning. And I like to get proteins with creatine in it, personally, because you know if you keep your creatine dose high, it's gonna lower your myostatin, which is also gonna allow you to build more muscle faster. And if you guys didn't know that, well, hit that follow button and subscribe to the channel. Press like on the video, because I just taught you something new that you could use in your real everyday life. So the protein coffee mix, it's very good for, for literally anything you want. If you want energy, you got it. You don't need pre-workout. You want you want strength, but you got the protein. So this whole meal in total would probably be about 65 grams of protein. I'd have to calculate it per cup of uh, milk. I think I only had one cup of milk. So that would be 31 grams of protein. So in total this would be 66 grams of protein it's got kind of devilish there six you know so yeah it's pretty much it get straight into eating man you see your boy got his book bag on him yes sir yes sir we about to go to the gym so i needed all my stuff i need to record so uh what my next meal is for lunch this is my post workout meal it is some bacon Bacon has the same amount of calories as some eggs per strip, so it'd be 70, maybe 80 calories for one piece of bacon, and it would be like eight grams of protein, and then I have a Green Machine Naked Blend. It's a one cup serving. This is about 170 calories. It's full of micronutrients that you need. And then I also have half a cup of coffee as a pre-workout. I'm working on getting some more pre-workout. Quick flex for y'all. All right. Um, we're gonna get us some pre-workout for y'all so that we could uh, get back in business, baby. You feel me? But yeah, this is my next meal. So I'm probably gonna be eating about five strips of these. That would be about five times 80, would be about 400. This is 170, that would be 570. Coffee has no calories, so that's zero. So it'd be 570 calories. Let's check how much protein this has, two grams of protein, and then uh, eight grams. This would be 40 grams of protein, plus two, 42 grams of protein, 500 calories. And some fucking caffeine let's get it man quick flex guys i literally came here with the sole objective to obliterate my arms first we started off with just some regular bicep curls just to get that fat pump that we all enjoy you see your boy looking like a grown ass man then i go straight into hammer curls to hit that brachialis and that long head as you guys know hammer curls are the most effective at hitting the long head Next thing I went into is another set of bicep curls. You gotta set your bicep curls up. You don't wanna just do one. And I continue that with another set of hammer curls just to hit more brachialis. As your boy looking beautiful as ever. Next thing I came into was a wide grip barbell curl. I like to neglect form, bro. Just go for the lift, hit that shit and get your biceps jacked. Next, I did another bicep curl, but this one was even heavier. Neglected form a little bit more. Guys, sometimes form doesn't matter. I know the fitness influencers tell you it matters so much, but sometimes it doesn't matter. You want to break down the muscle. You'll be safe. We're humans, we're strong. Like We're gonna break down the muscle and we're gonna get jacked. That's all we came here for. 
next things next because we weren't here for that long i wanted to hit a full body so as your boy he did a deadlift a clean and squat a sh overhead press and then a back squat again and then i rinsed and repeated it with the overhead press another front squat bring it back down for the deadlift and i kept going like this is good for hitting your whole body besides your back it's not going to hit your back but it's going to hit every single muscle group you want to work triceps it's not going to hit biceps well it's going to hit forearms and biceps with the deadlift just slightly and with the squat just from you holding it it's barely going to hit traps but it is going to hit traps they're going to get activated and then lastly to hit back i went to do some bad over rows